garbage of the rich and famous will not be seen in order that we may dump on you but the following load of garbage. Well, Christine, here we are. First kids in space. Yeah, I know. It's great. Um, Alistair, uh... This is kind of embarrassing, but hmm? no one ever really told me exactly what we're doing up here. Well, Christine, we're on a very special mission that only kids can carry out. What? Well, we're launching our cargo into space. Anybody could do that. No, 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 Christine. See, only kids could carry this cargo out. What is this special cargo? Garbage. Thousands and thousands of bags of garbage. I mean, why do you think they needed kids for this mission? to take out the garbage. And you're going to shoot me for that and for forgetting to take out the garbage? No, no. Well, what then? Why are you going to shoot me? We are not going to shoot you. Ready? You remember that pile of dirty, stinking, smelly garbage you forgot to take out? Yeah. Aim! We're going to throw it at you. Throw! <laughs> Lights, Bernie. Hey guys, what is all this garbage doing on the bus? What garbage? This garbage. Oh, disgusting. Listen, hey, hey, the garbage is here because I'm getting extra work as a transportation sanitation engineer. You can't carry garbage on the bus. I can't. Why not? Carry you kids on it all the time. What's the difference? Thanks, Sandy. Hi, and welcome to an episode of You Can't Do That on Television that probably should have been trashed a long time ago. I, I mean, it's no secret that this show is mostly garbage. So it's really no surprise that here we are doing an entire show all about garbage. Christine, can you quit babbling and help us bring all these garbage bags in? Alistair, you don't take in the garbage, you take out the garbage. But Ross told us to bring in all these garbage bags, and that's what we have to do. Oh, for set decoration. Actually, you know, that's a really good idea. If we could just have all these bags full of, like, newspapers or something all over the set. And it... Uh, that stinks. Alistair, that's real garbage in there. Get this out of here. I mean, I think this is taking realism just a little too far. No, we didn't take them far. Just in the backyard of the studio. Doc, that's not what I meant. You know, sometimes I think you have a little garbage between your ears. I do? Where? Never mind. Listen, why don't you guys just take this sticky, smelly garbage bags back to where they came from? But Ross told us to bring them in here. Yeah, maybe we're going to shoot a TV commercial on garbage bags. I bet I can kick hard in that kid in the commercial. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, the kid in the commercial can't even burst the bag. Oh, my God. Clean that mess up. Yeah, don't yeah. clean it up, no. Doug. Here you go, sir. Oh! What is the meaning of this? Well, sir, this is this is my assignment on garbage. No, 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 no. Your assignment was not to bring in a load of garbage. Your assignment was, watch my lips, write a composition on garbage. Well, that's exactly what I did, sir. What? What do you mean? I wrote a composition on garbage. I don't... See, page one starts off right here on the back of this old cereal box, and then page two goes around this tin can. Finishes off goes across this dead fish right here and then finishes up on uh, my mom's shopping bag. I admit uh, the middle is a little slimy, but uh, it's a very powerful ending. Where does the school find them and why do they keep sending them to me? Why don't they put them on the garbage pile? <laughs> uh, well, well. Lance, 
I went to see the doctor today. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And he told me that I can't have a child, that we can never have children. Oh, no, Val. Oh, this is terrible, terrible. What are, what are we going to do? If we can't have children, well, we'll never get this garbage carry out. <laughs> Eventually, it'll bury us. Perhaps we could adopt. Well, we're going to have to do something. This place stinks. Yes. <laughs> it, too. Oh, no, Doug, it finally happened. What's happened, Alistair? My, my feet are stuck to the floor. I can't move. All right, come on, you kids. Either you go or you buy another ticket. Now, be it. Go on. Whoa. Come on, get out of here. just stinks. Christine, <laughs> it's only for as long as the garbage men are on strike. The network has nowhere else to store its garbage. Yeah, but, but here in our studio when we're trying to do a show, this is crazy. Look, they told me to put it in here because there's so much garbage on this show. They figured a few tons more wouldn't bother anybody. They'd never notice. Besides, I have seen the state that you guys leave your dressing rooms in. You are used to living in garbage. Oh, now, hey, hey look at this. What? We found a lot of bottles under here. What? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. You guys were pitiful, pitiful. You hear me? You fumble, you stumble, you slid all over the place. But, Coach, it was slippery. I don't care whether it was slippery out there or not. You got a job to do and you're going to do it. Now pick up those garbage bags and move them out of here. Come on. Oh, come on, you guys. Pick them up and get them out of here. And listen, you guys do a decent job in this garbage disposal. Maybe next year they'll let you play football. Move it. Move it. Come on, pick them up. Get out. Uh, and now, Dougie, since all that paperwork is completed... And we've collected you from the orphanage. You are now our adopted son. And we want to say how pleased we are. Oh, you've got no idea, Dougie. We've been waiting, what, Val? I don't know, 15 years oh, for this? Yes. Oh, yes. And now that you're finally here, and at last we have a child of our own, would you please uh, take out the garbage? Uh, sure. You see, without a child to take it out, it, it's rather filled the house. <laughs> Thank you, dear. You know, I'm so glad we have all this garbage on the set. Mm. I mean, it gives the studio a bit of elegance and atmosphere, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. and the smell. It's got such a nice sweet smell. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, it smells like an ex bossy French parfum. I wonder how that happened. Simple. This is just the introduction to the office. Of course. Hey, Mom, can I check out the garbage? Oh, Dougie, have you finished watching that TV show yet? Well, it's not over yet, but if you let me check out the garbage, I promise to watch TV a whole bunch tomorrow night. Okay. Take out the garbage. Thanks a lot, Mom. And I promise I'll be back from now on. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. All right, class, what is this? What are you doing studying, Matt? Oh, you have none of that. Come on, it's time to throw the paper wads into the waste paper basket. <laughs> well, sir, can't we uh, go over those equations once more? I'm not sure I got them all down. I'm not going to ask you again. Paper wads, come on, get them out and throw them into the waste paper basket. You think your parents sent you here to learn? Come on! Excuse me, sir, but do we have to? Yes, it's easy. Come on, there's nothing to it. Just... And then spit it up. Make it nice and wet, and then... Mm. See? Come on. Come on. Oh, Doug. Doug, what are you doing? Putting garbage into my computer, of course. Garbage in, garbage out? No, not with this computer, Alistair. You put garbage in, you get some amazing things out. What? Chocolate bars. <laughs> candy. Gum. Money. Let's get some more of that money. You know, I think I like this one the best. Oh, this one is just gorgeous. Mm, this is the one for me. Oh, this one is all mine now. Oh, the 
I never thought I'd be growing like a rose garden. You don't. You smell like a rotting cabbage. Yeah. Christine, you smell like a dead cat. And Racka smells like a rotting fish. And I don't dare say on television what we all smell like together. Oh, no. I guess the opposites are over. Oh, no. Oh, how can we be so stupid? in the garbage. Alistair? Well, Vanessa, I was just trying to help you redecorate your room, and believe me, it sure needed it. Oh, thank you, Alistair. And just to show you how much I appreciate it, I did a little redecorating of your room, too. Wait a minute, what's that? It's the trash compactor turning your Beatles records into tiny little minuscule pellets. <laughs> You got this detention, Douglas, because you didn't do your homework. But I did do my homework, sir. Then why didn't you hand it in? Because my mom accidentally threw it into the garbage. Dougie, do you know how long I've been a teacher and a principal? Do you know how many students have tried to pull that flimsy excuse? Well, I wasn't born yesterday. I do not believe you. But I can prove it, sir. I brought the garbage from home. Oh. It's got to be in here somewhere. Oh. Oh. All we have to do is look. Get out. Get out. Yes, sir. Immediately. Sometimes it's so easy, I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> look, any idiot can catch a ball. That was a lovely what? movie. Yeah, I did. Uh... <laughs> Alistair. Oh, Alistair, I thought we agreed as part of your babysitting duties that you would change... The baby's diaper when it needed it. Well, I would have, but it didn't need it. Didn't need it? Alistair, that diaper is full. Poor thing. Mom, no, no, no. I thought of that, but then I read the instructions on this box of diapers. Good up to 30 pounds. And look, can't be more than ha, three or four pounds in there already. Why, Alistair, that, that's right. Isn't that a good idea, Lance? What? We won't have to change the baby again for another month. <laughs> change anything, except for our dress. Alistair, if you would just say the word, we could get this place cleaned up in no time. Say the word? Yes, Alistair, the word. The word. Oh, 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 you mean the word that when the person says it, they get all soaking wet. Yes, Alistair, so just say it. Vanessa, if you're so keen on getting this place cleaned up, why don't you say the word that gets all the water dumped on you? <laughs> that was very good, Alistair. Just go over there and say it again. Alistair. Not a surprise. You're not going to have to be afraid of the dark no more. Oh, you're finally getting me a nightlight? Uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, sort of. He's going to kill two birds with one stone. A pile. Pile? Pile. You see, the power company is looking for some place for this deep and dark and underground to dump the radioactive waste. Yeah, and they pay good money. Oh, pretty soon, you won't have to be afraid of the dark, because everything in here is going to glow, including you. <laughs> you know what they did? They even gave me a radiation suit, so I can visit you. <laughs> this is going to put a glow in your cheeks. <laughs> well, we'll see you around. Again. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What is going on here? First, all these years, we've made jokes about you putting garbage in your burgers. And we came back here to eat because we thought they were just jokes. But now we found out the truth. What? You really do put garbage in your burgers. Uh, we saw you sneaking around the city garbage dump last week, buddy. Oh, 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 yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I admit I was there. Oh, 
so you admit it. Well, yeah, but but I, I wasn't uh, searching around for garbage for my burgers. No, no, I was, I was looking for something else. I hate to ask, but what? Well, uh, uh, something that's, uh, there's lots of, uh, uh, oh, the city no. does. Yeah. Um, who is going to be the first to sample Fart's brand new breast of seagull burger? Oh, me, sir. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Wow, that was a piece of Dig in, Doug. What are you doing here? I thought your parents grounded you for a month. Well, they did. Well, then what are you doing at the movies? Well, I'm doing exactly what my mom told me to. She told me to take out the garbage. So I thought I'd take the garbage out to see a movie. So are you enjoying it? I can't take care anymore. I'm breaking out tonight. Really? How are you going to do it? Well, I'm going to hide in the garbage can and go out with the garbage truck. That'll never work. Well, why not? They don't take the garbage out. They just bring it to the dining hall. <laughs> why are the garbage men on strike anyway? I'm not sure, Vanessa. But if I was a garbage man, I might prefer being on strike than turning all this junk around all day. Well, even if we don't know why they're on strike... Well, <laughs> But Vanessa here said we don't know, and we both got oh. <laughs> You think, dummy Alster? <laughs> Next time, don't say we don't know. Say I don't know. <laughs> Vanessa, what are you doing? Standing up for my rights. But, Vanessa, you're not standing up. You're sitting down in a garbage bag. Well, they said, take out the garbage or go out with it. So I did. I have my principles, you know. Shane. <laughs> Shane, what are you doing? Hi. Oh, oh, this is my new business. I sell celebrity garbage. Yesterday, I got $40 for a used coffee cup off the set of Miami Vice. Christine, who would buy garbage? Well, gossip freaks who can't get enough of the stars from the tabloids. Christine, don't you feel just a little bit sleazy going through the stars' garbage? Alistair, I don't really go through the stars' garbage. I mean, that would be invasion of privacy. I just sell any old garbage I can find. I mean, anybody who's willing to pay $40 for a styrofoam coffee cup deserves to get ripped off. <laughs> Hang on! Hang on! This is beautiful. You are looking at Eddie Murphy's sandwich. Twelve bucks. <laughs> it's got mustard in it. Fifteen bucks. <laughs> Eddie Murphy? <laughs> Just a second. Here. Here you go. Here. Eddie Murphy. Christine. He eats his sandwiches exactly like I eat mine. It's incredible. Wait till I tell the guys. Eddie Murphy eats the same kind of sandwiches I do. <laughs> See you later. Hey, hey, guys. Look, look. Oh, Rekka. Yeah, Doug? Do you take your garbage? Yeah, I do, Doug, sometimes. But don't get your hopes up. I wouldn't go out with garbage like you. <laughs> yeah, Vanessa? Do you know that me and my brother, who's a jerk, share the job of taking out the garbage? Uh, oh, really? Yes. One week he makes me do it, and the next week I have to make myself. <laughs> hey, Christine? Yeah, Alistair? Do you still have to take out the garbage? No, I think I'm a little too old for that. Well, so how old does a kid have to get before he's old enough not to take out garbage? Old enough to have a kid brother or sister to do it for them. <laughs> well, but I'm the youngest in my family. Uh, how old do I have to be? Old enough to have your own kids to do it for you. Hey, Rekka. Yeah, Vanessa? Did you know that archaeologists find out about the past by sifting through the garbage of ancient civilizations? Yeah, I read that somewhere in a book. But the archaeologists of the future will have it easier. They'll just be able to screen TV shows like this one. <laughs> they might be a different kind of garbage. <laughs> well, anyway, this is our living room. <laughs> um, Doug, doesn't anyone in your house ever take up the garbage? Well, we used to, but my dad wants to save it all now because he read in a magazine that the British have invented a machine that turns garbage into gasoline. 
So we've been saving all our garbage to the next gas shortage, and then we're going to drive all the way to Florida. <laughs> oh, sir. Alistair, aren't you supposed to be in uh, math class? Uh, yes, sir, but I have to leave to take out the garbage. What? What, what garbage? The school's garbage, sir. Uh, the janitor and I have a deal. See, if I take out the school's garbage every week, he gives me an A. The janitor cannot give you an A. Oh, yes, he can, sir. Do you want to see it? Huh? Wait a minute. Who's running this school anyway, me or the janitor? The janitor, sir. Everybody knows that. I'm just throwing out some of the old toys that you don't play with anymore, Dougie. But, Mom, I need those toys. Look, look my rubber ducky. And my boat. Well, half it anyway. And all my stuffed animals. Oh, Dougie, you never play with any of this stuff. It's just cluttering up your closet. But, Mom, you never throw anything of yours. Well, that's not true, Dougie. After all, you're mine. My son. And I'm throwing you out, Dougie. I've rented your room to a perfectly nice stranger from the IRS. Where's your suitcase? Lady and... Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute. Stop the execution. What is it this time? Well, it's all my fault, you know. I know. That's why we're shooting you. No, no, no. I mean, the smell and all these flies around here is all my fault. I know. You should have taken a shower. No, no. It's all my fault because... Well, I'm sorry, but with so much else on mine, I forgot to take out the garbage. Hey, look, I'll go and do it right now. Oh, no, no, never mind. It's all right. You don't have to. No, no, you don't do that. No, 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 it's no trouble. I mean, my mom would go so far as to shoot me if I didn't take out the garbage. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Yeah, hey, hold it, kid. Wait a minute. Listen, it's easy for me. I just throw it on the bonfire. Oh. <laughs> Apples, attention. Now, oh, here is your daily roster of chores. Christine, you will go to the uh, camp kitchen immediately and clean all those filthy vegetables and scrub all the pots and pans. <laughs> Vanessa, you will clean the toilets. And my niece, Rekka, you will carry the garbage to the dump. <laughs> That's not fair, sir. Just because she's your niece, you give her all the easy jobs like carrying the garbage yeah. to the dump. Ah, uh -huh. I see, Vanessa. Then would you like to swap jobs with my niece, Rekka? Well, of course I would. I'd much rather carry a couple of bags to the dump than, than clean out smelly toilets. Very well. You've got it, Vanessa. Rekka, you will clean the toilets. And Vanessa, you will carry the garbage bags to the dump. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Those skunks outside last night, they sprayed the garbage bags. You wouldn't believe the order. <laughs> but no problem, Vanessa. The dump was only five miles down the road. Okay. Move it. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys. Hey, kids. Good news. Oh, you mean We get to go home? The show is over? No. The garbage strike is over. Now, you can take that garbage out, and the garbage men will pick it up. Hey, 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 hey. No way. That sounds to me like a job for technicians, and we are actors. Oh, no, no, no. You are kids, and kids take out garbage. That's what kids are for. Move it. Now. Move it. Can't Do That on Television has been a disposable production. The sooner it's disposed of, the better, if you ask me. Yeah, there, that ought to do it. Stop it, Rod. What is going on here? The network says that you kids is garbage. So, we gotta dump you. Okay. Oh, 